noise. I'll just quiet it down a bit. So I started new event. This is a new episode of my command book creations. And that's my journal creator of time, which I now actually have in real life. Not a giant one. I have not creating of time in real life. And basically what I'm gonna show you this episode is a shrink ray. So here we are, and there's no possible way that I could actually get under this gap, right? Well, this gap is shrink rayed, and if I walk in, I'll shrink. And I'll just show you that really quick. If I walk here, as you can see, it's say I've shrunk. And now if I'm really, really small. See? Tiny. Yeah. So it's basically a shrink machine. And when I go in, I sort of become half shrunk, and then when I properly go in, I become 100% shrunk. And then when I go out, I'm like half shrunk again, and then I'm normal. And how this works is a ton of falling sand. If I just shut down this whole circuit by messing up these two clock commands, as you can see, there is actually nothing here. It was just falling sand disguised as the normal blocks. And in the episode, this episode, I'll be showing you two things. How to make disguised falling sand. And also how to make... Also how, how to make a shrinking machine like this. So all the circuit that's in this is these five command blocks. This command, um, and, oops, I'll put all the commands in the description in case you need them. And I'll show you in, in what order to put them in to. So, like not really in order, but where to put them in the circle. And now I will build the shrink ray. So basically, here you put this command. Okay. And now you give it a signal wherever the red block lands. You take it away and put another, and then this clock is gonna start up. Oh, and also, do slash game move do tile do tile drops false before you actually start this clock up, or I'll just put tons of redstone around. I'll put that command in the description too. So, yeah, and now this this command, which is one of the ones that summons the falling sand. It isn't actually that complicated. Like, it's pretty long, but not that long. So now, as you can see, all this is doing is it's summoning falling sand that's three blocks above it, and its drop item is nothing, because you know, like, when when falling sand and let uh, lands on the torch or something it drops sand and here it's zero which means that there's no drop off item the tile id is 155 which is quartz and the motion is just the normal motion for like falling sand and now as you can see oh oops fish now there is this ghost block of, of quartz right here just floating in the air and another thing that I can show you is that for some reason I haven't figured out why it's like a slab. It's actually like a slab. So now if I get a spoon, it's exactly the same sort of thing with it. 
So, another thing that you could do, which is really cool, is if you just stop that system like that. Wait. Oh. Yeah, if you just stop the system and where the so that is going to be if let's say you want a stone slab that actually looks 100% like stone then you could right here instead of one 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 five five one and then here and now this is and soon it's gonna turn into a stone slab like there's already stone slab but they don't look exactly like actual stone oh or oh, maybe you can't shift it back wait maybe you can 3.1 does that work nope no it's just off of it it works just off of it oh sorry but you can't actually make another sort of slab which is stupid and annoying but Just set this back to one. Bye bye. Bye bye. And oops, start it back up again. And now we have this girl's block. And as you can see, I can fall right through it. And this is the command for quartz. And I'll also put the description a link in the description for a really good cool ID site where you can just search up blocks and it tells you the IDs for them. Now, the next piece is with a tiny different command. It's just a different here. Basically, it just makes, because it's one block higher up, it just makes the sand appear still here. So, now, if I just steal that right out, and place it here, as you can see, now we have a new one and now for the second clock which is coming from the back of my book all you need to do is you know copy the, the command oh it's becoming night time crunch time set all you need to do is copy this command which we do by pressing uh, in command a and then command c Command A highlights it, Command C copies it, and now you do here whatever block you want, you don't actually have to, but you just put the command block there and copy that in, and now if you put that there, the clock will start up, and then the last thing you need to do to finish the circuit is copy the command right out of here. Three blocks, and now the last thing you need to do just to make it actually work like a shrink ray is get yeah, so is do this. So basically, all you have to do now is oh, and also the platform has to be made out of slab, so it looks like it's you're actually walking on real. Uh, blocks, but these just blend in, so that it looks so on the exact same thing. So it looks like when you go through them, they're just sort of shrinking. And now all you need to do is just throw is that how it is? Then you put this there, then you put this, how, how can I put it down, I want to put it down, why can't 
time I flip it. And now you've got your shrink ray. And now it just shrinks you down where you area and you can place a little slab arch over here. Just and why is that better than that? And then you can just get in. Oh no, I'm shrinking. Everything is enormous now. Yay. Oh and there's one more thing that you can do. So I'll just grab a commit and I'll just really quickly build it and you can see what I'm doing. So get the clock command, put it right there. And put it twice. One on top of each other, just like that. So we have two clocks right here. And now, right, this is, if I change this to 2.5, will it change to like a normal block? Yeah. So if you want it to be a normal block, two blocks above it, then you put in 2.5 instead of the usual two. And now in these commands blocks, I, I put this command in the top one only, and I make it 2.5, and now there's a block hanging here, and I take this command, grab it out, place it in the bottom one, Oh, oops. Actually, you do the same command twice. Oh, and now you can just build a room. I'll just. But what the heck? Oh, my game is lagging. Game is lagging. Game is lagging. Lag alert. Lag alert. Lag alert. Eight chunks. This clock is lagging out my world. Crazy. Oh my god. doing that you have your own little secret door which keeps on failing because the commands are faulty I'm gonna break all this now because I don't want my whole world to break and I'm going to shut this down and shut Paste that. And here comes the end of the episode. So, bye guys! Wait. So, bye guys! And see.
see you next time.